Hello everyone, uh, so I'm on step four, uh, which is uh, building the steering assembly here. As you can see, I've already built the steering assembly and um, there are a few things that uh, I wanted to let you guys know about here. Um, one thing is, is there are certain points in the steering system that I noticed had a little bit of slop, which uh, I took out quite easily by uh, adding a few shims. Um, I noticed the points uh, where the steering bridge connects with the steering arms here had uh, some slop and uh, what I did is I added some uh, washers. Let me just see if I can find some here. I used some of these washers which uh, are like axle washers uh, that fit perfectly uh, in, underneath here uh, where the two parts uh, make contact. And that took out a lot of the slop. Now, there is some slight slight friction in the steering system, but it's nothing to be worried about because uh, the actual servo will ride over any of the friction that's going on here. And like I said, there's not much, but it's really important to have like a very, you know, slop-free uh, steering uh, setup here. Now, I did that for this part here and also in the manual, it doesn't actually indicate whether or not you're supposed to use uh, shims uh, between the actual steering posts here for the floating mount setup here. Um, and you'll notice that in the packaging, there are these two silver shims, which are not specified in the actual manual itself. And I put those shims in between uh, the actual standoff post here and where you see here the steering arm mounts together and uh, that actually takes up the unwanted slop. Uh, if you don't use those two shims you'll have a lot of up and down slop. Okay so please use those shims there and you very well might need to add maybe one or two, sh not even two, actually one very thin uh, axle uh, shim. I would try and use maybe a 0 0.5 millimeter shim and uh, just shim out any of the remaining slop that might occur around this area here. And this is something that, you know, you don't have to do it, but if you really want to make sure that you have a really nice, smooth, precise steering system, and I do this with all my kits, as you've probably seen in my other videos, I make sure that the steering rack is absolutely precise, slop free, as best as I can get it, so I know that that the steering is uh, going to be crisp uh, each time. And that's pretty much it for the steering setup. The, the way that everything mounts together here is pretty straightforward. Um, you can go ahead and use Loctite on certain parts here if you choose to do so. Um, generally, I just use a small, small dab of the blue Loctite uh, because you don't want to go too crazy with it because it can be a real, real headache trying to to disassemble things if something has you know failed okay so that's pretty much it for the steering system pretty pretty self-explanatory except the manual doesn't really indicate about the two shims that come in the packaging uh, to take out the slop in this area here okay i hope that was of help all right bye-bye